All right, guys, Easy Amateur Radio here today, back with the Ham Geek USDX SDR QRP HF Transceiver. That's a lot of words. They just crammed every, I guess, clickbait thing into this radio that they absolutely could. Uh, so let's talk about this radio. I did a, a video on it saying that this is the cheapest HF radio on the market I could find, and it was, and we're going to go up from there. I have some videos coming up about cheap HF radios, and uh, this is the beginning of it. So it has a BNC connector. This is the Bluetooth switch over here. You can't really see it. This is the external speaker and the microphone. Here's the power and the switch. We'll go ahead and click this off. There's one click. There's another click. So this is a three-step switch. Not really sure what the third step is about, but there we go. We fired it back on. I really like this little screen. This radio just looks cool. I wish it worked better than it did, but it's not that bad of a radio. So this is connected to the loop, and let's take a look. So this is on the external speaker on 40 meters. It's about 3 in the afternoon Central Standard Time, and of course they quit talking. But I will overlay what it looks like with and without the speaker in right here. Kilo India 5 Whiskey Echo Sierra. So this external speaker, this is a Vertex speaker up here. This uh, does wonders for this little radio. really brings out the audio. The settings on this radio, it's an $80 radio. What can you expect? They're not great. The radio is a little funky. It says FT8 everywhere on it. How you would get this on the FT8, I'm really not sure. Uh, this is what they're calling the UART port. I don't know what their six prongs are for. I've never seen that connector before. Maybe you have in the comments. The microphone is a single pin mic, 3.5 millimeter. I don't know if you would call that ring, ring, ring tip or sleeve ring, ring tip. I don't know. That's the microphone for it. Uh, it is a cheap, funky little Chinese microphone, but I've gotten mediocre signal reports at five watts. It's hard to get really good signal reports. I've seen this radio do up to 7 watts, but I feel like 7 watts was really pushing it. Let's check out the menu system. Right here we have our volume. Anything above 12 really distorts the volume. It starts squealing, even with the external speaker. You use the tune knob to change, change it. I don't like that the tune knob is clicky. Uh, not a big fan of that. I wish it was a smooth uh, VFO knob. So we start with volume. The mode, you can set this from this mode button uh, outside of the menu. Filter bandwidth, I leave mine on full, but also if you bring it in at uh, 3000, that's kind of, I like that one too. So we'll leave that one set up. We have it on 40 meters. You, this is how you change the band. You hit the menu button and just select where you want. We will leave it on 40 because honestly, that sounds the best. 20 does all right, but 40, really sounds the best with this radio and it always defaults to the 074 whatever the whatever the ft8 frequency is now you can see it has all the other amateur bands in it i have found that this radio really only works on 15 20 and 40. i wouldn't push it i have i have a suspicion that it has something to do with the filters inside this radio and i use air quotes with that on purpose so we'll go back to 40 meters. I like it on 40 meters. We'll leave it there. Go back to the menu. Tune rate, one kilohertz. That's really where I want it. VFO mode, it has the VFO A and B. I just leave it on whatever it came on. This one came on B. RIT, leave that off. AGC, slow. If you're doing voice, slow is fine. Medium, I like the slow. Noise reducer, I have it on zero. That's just the stock it came on. And attenuators on zero as well. Attenuator two is on two. Uh, 
I have the signal strength as the bar, but you can change it to a few different things. You can have the words per minute, uh, S9, S5, whatever it says, DBM, or you can have it off. It really doesn't work super great. I just leave it on the bar because I'm a meter nerd and I like to see that. Somewhere on here, there's an SWR meter. You want it to show forward SWR, how much power is being reflected. I have no idea how good this CW decode is because I'm really not a CW op, so I leave mine off. CW tone, semi QSK, key or speed, all this is straight. Let's see if we can change it to like an iambic paddle. Oh, you can. Iambic A, Iambic B, and straight. That's surprising if you want me to tell you the truth. Go back in the menu. We'll leave it on straight. If I ever do play around, I'll probably play around with that, even though I have an iambic keyer. Uh, keyer swap off practice mode. This is if you want to practice CW. This actually probably wouldn't be a bad little rig to practice as an oscillator. Uh, that's just showing no power out, tone volume, vox, noise gate, uh, TX drive. I left mine on three. I think it came on five. That just kind of pushes the power down a little bit. I find that that helps out with the uh, with the drive. No telling what kind of cheap finals are in this little box. So let's uh, let's not blow it up. CQ. Uh, okay, so this is interesting. PE one N N N. So there is the true SDX T U T R U S D X, uh, and that is what this radio is cloned after. It is another open source cheap HF radio. It, this is one of the creators of it. This Ham Geek is a Chinese clone of that. I have one of those on the way. We're gonna look at one of those as a cheap HF option. But uh, right now, this is. I find that interesting that the Chinese people who cloned this just uh, just robbed his call sign and threw that in there. I thought that was uh, not nice, to say the least. All right. And then PA bias. I've never really messed with any of this. Your reference frequency, IQ phase, backlight on. I haven't really turned it off. I want to see what it looks like with it off. Didn't really change much. We kind of left everything the same. It's clicking through your step. We'll go back and I want to go ahead and turn it on because I want, I want my backlight on. All right. So there we go. There we got it set up. You can hear the sweet, sweet sounds of FT8 noises. Let's see if we can find a station. So let's check this dude out. You can see the bar up top. Somebody tuning up over them. Bad conditions. Let's try somebody else. Uh, my days of climbing up on roofs are over. Uh, matter of fact, as you know, uh, the wife didn't even like me climbing up on a ladder to hang my, you know, uh, fully. Uh, so this is with the external speaker. And, uh, go 40 feet up. Full and he's volume. talking about now, monkey brother, he'll get up there on that ladder where he, or he was before he had his hip surgery. Oh, before he had his hip surgery. Well, there you go. You can see the audio. I have it interlaid in there with some other stuff. But guys, this is a USDX SDR QRP HF transceiver by Hangeek, which is a Chinese clone of the true SDX. So uh, just for size reference, here's a Pelican 1020. And I can just barely fit it in there with uh, no accessories on there or anything. Uh, so there you go. We'll go ahead and show you around before we sign off just around this radio and what everything looks like undo the power it's clicked off here's the radio here's the side about an inch wide don't know what this bluetooth even does here's the back of it it is a 12 volt system power on off and ptt for the mic right here so you can use this as an ht and i'm going to try that eventually but uh guys this is the first of the cheap hf overview series with the Hamgeek USDX SDR QRP HF transceiver. 73 guys from Easy Amateur Radio.